name is Rachel Jones. I am part of the group exhibit Cezula here at um, USW in Little Forest, May 2017. My work is entitled The Cost of Living. It's a study that came from a realisation that depending on people's usage and worth in society, the value is therefore assigned. I began looking at things like the South Wales Valleys, um, where once coal mining had ceased, the whole community was disregarded. Um, and what remained was technically worthless in terms of investment and value within society. So I started to look at other situations which are entirely socially constructed, where individuals are valued and then disregarded or disposed of as their value decreases, as their worth is no longer um, valued, as their purpose isn't what it was. These sectors of society included refugees, um, touched on feminism, serving soldiers, looking at comparisons between um, child soldiers used as cannon fodder versus precious western children, refugees literally washed up on beaches. But for practical reasons I focused in on just one of these subjects for the final exhibition and I chose to look at um, military personnel. So focusing on Afghanistan, I considered what makes somebody so valued when they die in the theatre of war versus what makes them worthless when they end up homeless with PTSD or mental issues or physical issues um, having come out of the military. The first piece is called All Souls Weigh the Same, one of my favourite expressions, and using eyes to demonstrate the value of soul, I have just created a pile of eyes, placing them on a weighing scales, with none giving greater worth than any others, just to start people questioning that our values may be assigned according to our status or our financial worth. But at the end of the day, all souls weigh the same, and how can we possibly assign a greater value to one human being than the other? I want the exhibition to slightly put the viewer on edge. So this piece particularly, are you allowed to touch it? Are all the canvases painted? Is it a game? Should you be able to guess whose eyes are what? The whole questioning should slightly unnerve people. Um, we shouldn't feel comfortable with the issues of what people are worth. The second piece is called Regarded. It's deliberately set out as a museum piece as if it contains something very precious, something valued and should be treasured as an artefact for the sake of prosperity or for the future. So the technicalities of it is I've taken 456 used stamps and digitally manipulated them to feature the heads of British personnel killed during the Afghanistan conflict. One of them is faceless, as his face was never released. They're assigned in no particular order, so rank, age, date of death, date of birth, all of it, nothing matters. But they are carefully pinned in pristine rows to signify the value that is given in honouring those that die in the theatre of war. Now, I would say rightly so that people are honoured for being willing to die for their country. But you start to question the value. This is why I wanted to use used stamps. So, had the campaign by Steve McQueen artist ever been successful? And had these men ever featured on postage stamps and gone into circulation, eventually they would have been discarded just binned, recycled, sold, collected. So I wanted to use stamps that are torn, damaged, defaced, and yet they're still pleasured and precious, and the display of them and the care taken in the display of them is meant to create a juxtaposition to the next piece. It's meant to form a contrast between the honour given to fallen soldiers 
and those that, that die or are left with life-changing conditions that don't die while serving. The third piece for this exhibition is called Discarded. It's a direct response to the previous stamp installation. I wanted it to demonstrate that if somebody is fortunate enough to survive armed conflict um, and active service, that they come home with life-changing injuries, whether visible, invisible, mental or physical, how can we possibly assign such little value to a homeless soldier when we assign such great value to one that died during conflict? It speaks for itself. The materials used are deliberately crude. They're to look like the sort of things that you'd use to board up a broken window or to cover up a shop facelift. The detail um, and the intrinsic method of creating the soldier himself was also very deliberate, that life is fragile, even if they're in uniform. Um, the issue with men's mental health, the fact that it's still a taboo subject, 